You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. One step closer, daughters of Guy. Hi guys! I know it's been a while, but welcome to One Step Closer. <laughs> Today, I am so excited, guys. I am so excited. This is why I am like so excited. <gasps> Okay, <laughs> so I know usually I don't really make videos like this. Um, I had to put that down for a little bit. <laughs> but yes, usually I don't make videos like this. But today is a different kind of video. And we're going to be unpacking my serger machine. So I have been waiting for this for so long. And God answered my prayers. It was perfect timing too. And so let's get right into it and let's just open it up. And yes, I'm excited to share this moment with you guys as much as you probably are not that excited like I am. So I got this machine from uh, Amazon and I got it for a hundred and 50 something dollars but with taxes and stuff i think it ended up being 169 which not bad at all i would say a lot of uh surgery machines are kind of expensive if they're like a thousand or two thousand or you know and stuff like that this one i saw it even being sold for like 500 dollars like so i was really thankful that this one was not $500 and instead it was for $150 something. <laughs> so that's a blessing. And yay guys, here it is. So this is what the money looks like. That's the first thing I saw. Um, and whoa, this is the foot pedal thingy. Oh wow, exciting. Okay, okay. We have this. Whoa, guys. Whoa, what? Whoa, and it's like ready, like ready for me to sew. Wow, I did not expect this. I mean, it said that it would be ready, but I didn't think it would be this ready. The, the strings are already attached and everything. Whoa, it's like ready, like ready, ready. And there you have it. Whoa. This is great! And, but if you're not sure what, what a serger is, it's, uh, you know at the bottom of the clothes there is... Well, that's what this machine does. It does this, like it cuts it and it makes these stitches, which is something that sew sewing machines cannot do. And so this is great. And then what usually we would do is with a um, sewing machine that we could like sew it like this so it could look even better. So things like such as this. I, I used a machine like that actually, but in Peru, I borrowed someone's machine to do that. And this, the, this machine can also do this part. Like all of that to make it kind of like all together like that. So cool. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. So that's what that is is and there's so many things you can do with it like you can decorate things like oh my goodness i am so excited you can make dresses like you know how like with dresses like you could put all of it together so you can look poofy like that so this machine can do that <laughs> so great oh what a blessing this is the first dress i ever um did it myself i sewed it all together from scratch so it's like what like that was always my dream and um i'm excited to share this with you too because i had to finish some touches but now i was able to finally finish it and i can share it with you and so here are some clips and how it looks like <laughs> But yeah, that's the dress. When I was designing this dress, I thought of having sleeves because usually it's hard to find a modest dress that has sleeves. And so that was the main thing I wanted to accomplish with this dress. And also I put an invisible zipper in the back so you can't really see the whole thing. So now 
lastly, I just wanted to share with you why I have even bigger convictions or why I have even a greater desire. That desire was already in my heart to uh, sew and things like that. So I just wanted to share something with you that even motivated me even more to learn how to sew and all of this stuff because I'm not... I'm not like, I don't know much, okay? I'm learning and I can I can share what I'm learning and little by little, maybe I would love to make videos like that. And let me know if you would like to see them too, but I don't know. But, so that way you can all see my adventures of sewing and learning how to sew. <laughs> I wanted to share with you um, that in the Bible, in Exodus chapter 35 and verse 25 and 26, talk about women, like how Jesus, I mean Jesus like God had <laughs> told the Israelites to make a tent which it was a sanctuary right so they brought the sanctuary here on earth and the Israelites followed up with the instructions that God had given Moses and this is where we're at now so in this verse uh, everybody's gathering different things to put uh, in so they can make this amazing sanctuary so it says in verse 25 every skilled woman used her hands to make the blue purple and red thread and fine linen and they brought what they had made okay so it talks about the skilled woman and they had made thread um you know what is really interesting this is my new century version but in the king james version it says that in the king james version it says, all the women that were wise-hearted did a spin with their hands. It is so interesting how the King James Version says every wise woman. Hmm. All the women that were skilled, the wise women, they were the ones that made threat. And that's, it's pretty amazing how all that was used to glorify God, to put, to make an input uh, to the church and to help the church out. Now let's look at Proverbs 31, the virtuous woman. In verse 13, it says that she was a skilled and she worked, like her hands would work hard. And then let's look at more of what it means to be a virtuous woman. And we're gonna be looking at verse 19. She laid her hands to the sprinkle and her hands hold that this half. Okay, so if you're not sure what that is, here is what that is. And this is the process for making thread. And so they get uh, hair from the lamp in this case. And they still do it now. They used to do it a lot back then, but now I even have some ants. I still do it now. And that's the distaff, the instrument right there. In Exodus 35 verse 25, it says, you know, then they will spin. So that's what I mean. See how it's spinning? So that's what it meant. And in Proverbs 31 19, it says that a virtuous woman um, holds that distaff on verse 19. So yes, so this is what it is. And they use a lot of nature to bring different colors, like leaves and fruits and different things like that. So it's pretty cool. One really interesting thing is that those are little animals. When they um, just mash it, the red thing, they use it to tie things as well. And they are taken to different places all over the world to make makeup. And this is actually what they use for makeup over there in Peru. <laughs> uh, some people, not everybody. <laughs> and then they boil it and they dip it in. tool that women use to make thread meaning making clothes to make clothes it could be for anything which now in days we don't really have to do all the job but now we can sew instead of doing all that so you know it's part of being a virtuous woman a wise woman a woman that uh, has the skills and that can also financially support herself because this is definitely a good I think for us women to learn so at home we can you know support family financially by uh, saving money because you're doing the work or by doing it for others and they can pay you and make your own money and you know and um, you can look at Pro 31 and explains how like a wise woman I mean uh, a virtuous woman 
does provide for the family as well in her own ways. So yeah, so that's what I wanted to share with you. Uh, God bless you so much. There's more videos coming up and now by God's grace, I'll have more time to make those videos and I pray that you like them. I'm gonna share with you some more information of different social media things. I used to only have Facebook, but now I got motivated to get other social media uh, places like Snapchat and different things where you can see like more of my personal life not really like well ministry and personal life related things i don't know but there it is you can follow me on them uh if you would want to <laughs> and god bless see you on the next video bye <laughs>